Alright guys, believe it or not, this is day 102 of the Backyard Project. Today I'm supposed to uh, get my uh, supplies for the uh, French drain. So I'm just setting up my camera here and I'm just waiting for the truck to show up. Yeah, the truck was supposed to show up yesterday with the uh, Backyard uh, French drain uh, supplies, but they didn't show up. So uh, they called and they said they'll be here today. So we'll see. We'll see if we'll show up today. It seems like it, but then, <laughs> then you always end up rolling it out, and then you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that is. There you go. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Right. You have a good day. You too. Okay, it's uh, August uh, 28, 2019. Um, I've been uh, researching since April on how to do a uh, French drain. And uh, it took that long for my town to give me permission to actually do the French drain. So I ordered my uh, materials from the French drain man. And I just uh, received the uh, materials today. So what I'm doing here is uh, unpacking the materials. And I'm going to bring it uh, to the backyard and figure out what I have here. And, uh, yeah, so that's uh, what happened in the course of the summer so far. It's late, and uh, i got to get this done before uh, the end of summer, before the cold weather sets in. Not that I don't, won't be able to work in cold weather, but it's a lot better. And nicer to work when it's warm out. Uh, also, i um, got to find myself a contractor so far. Uh, I haven't been able to find anybody that will take the dirt away. And if they do, they're going to charge me a really absorbent amount to take it away. So uh, I had to keep looking around. All right. Just got finished unloading the skid. And I uh, uncoiled the pipe and I put it in the backyard. So this is where it's going to uh, be uh, put underground. Um, it's not going to start from there because we're not flooding and standing water over there. We're going to probably start about here, right here. And we're going to go down to the end here. The uh, 
the city sewer is right on the other side, the other side of the fence over there. So we're going to connect here where all the water is going to go into the city drain. And this is where all the actual flooding is. And we're going to be digging a trench here, running the pipe under there. So we're going to have it along the whole back of the yard here by the fence. And we'll come around here and uh, we're probably going to go one, two, three, about four panels, even where it ends right there. I got enough hose to do that because it's standing water is here too when it rains. All right, so when I get the contractor, whoever I find, to do this trenching, uh, we'll be back with another video. Uh, I'm still uh, looking for a contractor to do my my uh, French drain. What I'm going to do now, I talked to the neighbor next door. Instead of going to the sewer that's over here, it, my lot actually is going down this way. There's a sewer in my next door neighbor's yard. So instead of having to dig uphill and pitch it so that the water goes into the sewer over here, I talked to him and he's going to let me go and uh, dig in his yard and go into the drain over there. And then uh, everything's downhill, so I won't have to really dig that deep. I dig the trench where then the water will go flowing right out into uh, the sewer over there. Plus, my section that I'm going to put in there is going to help him because he's his yard is getting flooded back there too. So, yep, so that's the uh, plan. To, uh, and I'm going to go uh, find a contractor this week. somebody to do this because I gotta get this done before winter all right guys here's the story now the landscaper came here because he's helping me take away um, the dirt that we're digging out of the uh, trench uh, away from here so now what's going on here now uh, this guy uh, can only work uh, Monday and Tuesday because the rest of the week he mows lawns so uh, he could come back Saturday, but we're having a problem is that uh, it keeps raining every other day. So the last two days now, it didn't rain, and um, I've been here all by myself. I ordered some rock cause, um, or stone because the rock is needed to, uh, to uh, fill up the uh, trench after I put the uh, drain tile down the hose. I'm in my next door neighbor's uh, yard also, which I'm going to bring you right there now to show you because the drain, the city drain is, is there to, um, to connect the, uh, my French drain to it. So I have to dig a trench in his yard also. Um, and the city is going to come and uh, drill a hole into the uh, sewer. It's a concrete uh, uh, sewer. So they're going to uh, drill a hole in there so I could tap my uh, my French drain uh, holes into it. So right now we're going to go over and uh, take a look at the um, at what I've done here on the trench. Alright, so here we are. This is my neighbor's yard. So uh, this is what we've done so far. So this is a trench, and this is the reason why the uh, water's been just laying there in the back of my yard is because we consciously have water. We have a real high water table here and as you see the drain water is is going down to the sewer. You see here we're 
be digging a hole where the town is going to be drilling a hole out there so that we can have the uh, drain the hose come all the way down here and into the sewer so uh, it's 15 inch deep and I had to uh, flatten out the uh, the bottom of the trench so that the hose will lay nice and flat there and you can see the water is draining really nice plus you can see that we're in a downhill slope here so there's really not much have to do with worry about the slope because it's already there all right then so i'm going to bring you over to my yard because we did some of my yard too and uh, saturday uh, He's going to come over and uh, he's going to help me uh, get this dirt out of here. Also, I'm waiting for rock. So if the rock can get here, I ordered it yesterday. I thought I would get it yesterday, but it never showed up. So hopefully I'll get here today so I can at least finish the neighbor's backyard so he can have uh, it done here and not have to worry about his dogs falling into this trench. All right, then let's go over my yard. All right, so here in my, in my yard... Uh, the landscaper, he left his uh, machinery here. This is how he's taking the dirt away, putting it in his dump truck. And uh, that way I don't have to worry about the dirt laying here because the town doesn't want us you know, keeping the dirt here on the property if you're not going to use it. So here we are in the back of my yard. The other day, uh, we got to uh, trench this out. We had to still go a little deeper. As you see, how it goes down and it goes to the next door neighbor's yard. So we're right here. So not very uh, it's not as nice as the other side is because I worked all day yesterday we'll clean it is out here and make it a little uh, better and it's a lot soggier than his side too this is completely wet completely wet a lot of water down there and it's like this all the time even when it doesn't rain that's why it never dries out here so we had to stop right here but we're gonna go all the way back I showed you before. I started the trench and I'm go all the way back here. We also have water sitting here. It's gonna pop up here. This is from my uh, drain from the uh, roof, from the gutter. But once the French drain is set up, then the water will right into the into the French drain and all the way down to the sewer over there. And also we're going to go about four panels here because we have a lot of standing water here from the next door neighbor's yard too that lays out here. So we're going to put like four panels. So there's one, two, three, four. We're putting the fence drain over there. It's going to come around here. It's going to go all the way down there. And also in the other yard, other side of the fence, we're doing the same thing. Four panels. Cutting out the trench. see the erosion here this fence was all the way down to the ground it's because of all this water keeps on washing the dirt away underneath because the next door neighbors uh, uh, downspouts from the roof the water keeps coming down to the edge here which this is the way the uh, grading town wants it the grading to be so uh, that's the reason why the water but nobody ever thought of where the heck the water is going after it gets to the bottom of the yard. So, so there's going to be four panels of trench all the way down there. And that's going to be connected to that line and then goes to the soil. And hopefully my, my flooding swamp days will be over. So, Alright guys, so if the wind won't be so strong today, I might 
do some uh, digging videos. So, alright, till next time. Alright guys, don't uh, worry about what I look like. It's been uh, two days of non-stop rain and I've been uh, freaking uh, digging in the damn mud. So, uh, I'm muddy from head to toe. So, here I'm going to show you uh, how far I got so far. And uh, let's go over to my neighbor's yard because that's the first uh, uh, part that I'm going to be uh, finishing. So that way he can get his life back to normal and then uh, I'll go back on my side and finish it. So from the uh, clips I, I had earlier I showed you we dug the trench so now So I put the uh, lining on, and this is the, uh, the rock that uh, I'm going to put over the uh, drain tile. And then when I'm done here, then I, I wrap this, uh, this uh, woven uh, cloth here uh, over it, and then we pin it. And then we take rock and then we fill it up all the way to the top with rock. Now my neighbor is having a landscaper come in and he's going to finish this off with uh, landscape rock. So it all looks good because right here it's uh, the, his dogs come here and mess up this, the sod. So he thought I'd just get rid of the sod as long as I'm digging it out anyway. He'd uh, just replace it with the landscape stone. So here we are all the way going down to the drain and uh, we had so much rain that the uh, the drain tile was uh, floating so I had took uh, two 10 pound plates I have and I used it as a uh, weight to keep the uh, tile down flat on the ground so it doesn't float because what happened was when I first started doing it, I got the uh, stones were going underneath, and we don't, I don't want any stones underneath the tile. It has to be flat on the ground, on top of the uh, cloth. So uh, and then you pour your stone in, and then the stone wraps around the sides and the top, but nothing on the bottom. And then, like I showed you before, the train. See here, it's floating. See, it's going down. So I started from that end and worked my way down that way this uh, this part is already flat down to the ground so when I get to here this will be all the way down and then the town is going to come and drill a hole here and then we're going to connect this hose to the piece of PCV pipe that's going to be in here and then uh, all the water from my area, this area, uh, will travel and go right down this over here when it rains. So there it is. Sorry I couldn't show you any digging, but it was pouring down rain for two days and we had to get this done. So uh, there's no way to put the uh, camera on a tripod without getting soaked or the wind blowing it over. So uh, I'm going to take you over to my yard and I'll show you what I did over there. Yeah, the drainage problem has been really bad here all, ever since I moved in here when I bought this house new and uh, for the last 13 years is all we had was a swamp back there and mosquito problems. So uh, I found this uh, website on the net and then the guy, he calls his website the uh, French Drain Man. And uh, he learned some stuff about the way he does his drainage problems. And, uh, and this is what I, uh, I learned from his uh, videos. So, uh, okay, so 
here I'm running a trench down the side fence here and I don't remember I took so many clips already I don't know if I already have it on a clip or not but here we got the trench already dug out and the way my yard is so slope so nice I don't even have to worry about measuring slope because the yard goes all the way down perfectly so I'm going to put this blue tile down here too and then there's going to be a Y at the end so the water will run into the main pipe down the front here and then it's going to go to the sewer so I already got this so here I'm going to finish this today so that his landscaper can come in and finish their job and then I'm going to start doing this tomorrow I still have a lot more stone to move so this is what we did yesterday in the rain as you see see the water flowing see the water flowing there and it flows fast when it gets in that pipe because the pipes are already picking up water and bringing it down to the, uh, the sewer or drain and look at this mess here the whole yard is all screwed up here but it's got to be done because this is the way it's all the time so then we drill we dug it out here all I gotta do now is just flatten it out and make sure it's it's the water is draining see there's a lot of dirt still sitting in there but I had a guy help me so I had him just dig it out as much as we can and then I'm gonna come back here tomorrow so this water will be gone and I think I told you guys I was going to run the tile down this end of the yard here alongside the fence but it's not that bad it's, it's, it's dry basically so I'm not going to do that because the other guy next door is running his his water to the, the drain that's on his side so I don't even have to worry about it so here is my pop up and that's my sub pump and my uh, and my uh, my gutter water. I, I think I have a. I think I have a freaking uh, clip on that too. But you see uh, that uh, it comes from the drain and the sub pump back there, and then it comes down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this up about three inches, and I'm going to have landscape rock all all through here. So that's it, guys. So uh, we'll see what happens. Um, but I have more of a mess than that guy next door has because he doesn't have as much staining water as I had. So I gotta let, have some of this water dry out before I can really do any kind of work as far as putting stone up here. Okay, okay guys, here we go again. Uh, I'm gonna take you over to the neighbors and show you the uh, rest of the job that I did on the uh, drain. Uh, we had rain Saturday and Sunday. We had sort of sunny day on um, Monday. It was 85 degrees, high humidity. So we finished the um, the uh, rocks or the stones on my neighbor's uh, section. I say we because he had a uh, landscaper come in and do the uh, rest of the stones on his uh, part. So I'll show you all I have to do now. Let's wait for Huntley to come in and connect the pipe to the drain, which they still can't get in here because it's too wet. Now today's uh, Tuesday and it's raining again. So I couldn't do anything yesterday. I couldn't do anything, anything yesterday because it was 85 degrees. I'm sorry, 88 degrees high humidity. So I'm gonna take you over and show you how my yard is going to look when it's done. So here's the finished. There's my yard here. You can see where the uh, hose ends where it begins in my yard. All the way over to the back there, you had the stone go all the way back so uh, it's nice and even. So, so that's what my size is going to look like when it's done. And uh, here, where the sewer is, 
I'll put the uh, PCV pipe here for the, uh, for the city to uh, use to uh, connect my pipe to the drain. So, as you see it's raining, I'm no longer going to be working in the rain. I just worked in the rain so I can get my neighbor's section done quick. But uh, I'm not going to be doing that in my area. And uh, also, starting uh, next week, and even actually starting today, the temperature is going back down to normal. We're going to be in our 40s and 50s, low 60s next week. And rain all the way through the rest of the week, so I won't be able to do anything this week. Let's go in the backyard, I'll show you what I've done. Alright, so I'm about ready to uh, put the uh, rocks down for the, uh, on top of the uh, drain tiles pipe. As you can see, here it is. I don't know if uh, I did this or not in my last clip, but uh, I was going to go and take the uh, drain and turn it into where the pop up is. But I decided just to go straight to the back of the yard. The pop up will automatically trickle down into the uh, into the pipe. So uh, it's really muddy over here. So I'm swimming. Can look at this mud. It just will not dry up. So we go all the way down to the end here. I pinned the, uh, the cloth wrap to the side so I can start pouring stone. And here's the uh, where the Y is for the connection to go to the uh, to the uh, city drain. I haven't uh, pinned the sides of this yet, I'm going to do this now as soon as I get done here doing this video. Um, I still got to wrap some tape around the uh, connections here. Then uh, I'll get ready to uh, put some stone down. I'm not going to have enough stone, I'll probably be able to finish this section here with the stone. And then I have to order Monday, finish the rest, which is to have four days of uh, dry. So I'll be able to finish this next week and I'm going to just have to wait till spring to do the rest of the, uh, the landscape here because I want rocks. I want rocks to be going about straight across all the way down. Nice angle here into the drain so all the water just gets swept away. It's uh, lingering here like it has been for all these years. Alright guys. If uh, I can get uh, a tripod uh, down here next week uh, without uh, having any problems with the wind blowing over, I'll make some videos. So until then. Alright, so uh, I got the uh, stones on top of the uh, pipe. And I'm putting the uh, stones on top of the wrap. And then I'm going to go and uh, level out this dirt over here. And as you see, this is how much erosion has happened in the last 12 years here. Because of the way the yard drains. So what I'm going to do is uh, level this out and then I'm going to build it up and put these bricks back in the right way because they're sinking into the dirt just from erosion. So, uh, yeah, so we're moving along here. Hopefully I can get this done today before it rains. Yep, it's supposed to rain again today. And then possibly get this done. I still gotta cut out this grass here to make it even with that side. I'm gonna build up rock here too. This is not my fence, this is my neighbor's fence, but I'm gonna put rock over here. Everybody here has dogs. Two dogs, three dogs. They're all trying to get into everybody's yard. Alright guys, so let you know my progress here. And uh, I'll be back. Alright guys, it seems like I'm a broken record, but this is Sunday, day 142 of the uh, 
yard project slash French drain project slash patio project slash grass project or sod project. I didn't do the sod, I planted seeds instead. So yesterday I started at 8 o'clock in the morning. I had to quit about 2.30 because guess what happened? It started raining again. So I had to quit for the day. It was pouring down rain. So here I am back again. So I'm going to show you exactly uh, what I'm going to do. I changed my mind. I keep changing my mind about this because some parts are really too hard to do. Alright, so I showed this to you yesterday. Let's see what happened to the erosion. I explained that in a few clips. And it's about 12 inches I lost of uh, soil here from erosion. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I was going to put bricks over here, but over there it's all the way 12 inches high. Now I probably can get a brick that's 12 inches. I'm still going to have a blockage here, but that brick isn't here. I need the water to flow from his yard into my drain so we don't have any more problems of the uh, erosion. So there's the bricks right there, they're 5 inches, and the highest part there is 12 inches. So what I decided to do is I'm going to cut the posts. I'm going to cut the posts right here and I cut right down here drop it down and then put bracket here and that way this will even with the ground again because that's the only way I'm going to be able to do it to make it easier for myself if I do the bricks and come back next summer or spring to do it I'm here I'm going to have to undo the bricks take all while they settle all winter I'm going to undo the bricks screw around with the with the stones this way I don't have to do anything but drop it down and just finish putting the stones down. And here I started doing this section here because I want to try to finish this section. And we'll do it all the way up to here. And as you see here, it ends here, but I had this all this grass right there. I'm gonna go all over over there and then I'm gonna raise it up and then put stone over here. This is not my fence here so I can't do anything about it but I'm gonna raise the stone here so the dogs my dogs, their dogs can't get in there and put their noses over into the next yard. So I'm going to stop that from happening. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. I'm going to finish the drain here. What they call is the burrito wrap. I'm going to wrap the stone and put stone on top. I'm going to get rid of some of that soil there. I'm going to pat it down. And then uh, I'm going to cut this grass out. And then I'm going to put landscape stone from the end where I cut off the grass all the way to the fence and build it up so that way they can't uh, bother uh, with the dogs coming in and out. Also um, I'm going to have it um, sloped because his yard is higher than mine so I'm going to have it sloped down in the mine and then that water coming out of it will come and uh, drain out into the sewer. Alright so that's uh, what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to have to go to Home Depot. I'm going to have to I designed myself a jig so I can make my my post cuts square so when I cut it the post comes right down to the other post rods. Alright guys, it's day 145 and uh, I had to wait uh, a couple days for uh, stone because uh, they won't sell you stone unless you go there and pick it off first. Um, so I had to go to the quarry pick out the stone then I had to wait till the next day to pick it up so uh, here's the stone another another four ton of stone hopefully this will be it we'll be done with the uh, drain part of this job so let's go on the back and uh, we'll give you an update so what I've been doing was uh, doing the uh, side yard Next to my neighbor here. So as you saw in the last uh, episode, I put the uh, stones, I mean I cut rid of the grass here and I put the uh, more stones, I got the uh, weed uh, blocker here. 
like I said, I'm going to cut the posts here on the fence so that way uh, I don't have to put the bricks anymore. I removed the bricks. You saw the bricks over here the last time. I cut the grass out over here. All the way down here to make it all even. And then I started putting stone here. And uh, this is my neighbor's yard, so I'm going to find some kind of uh, a mesh or something, uh, chicken wire or whatever, to put over there to block so I can raise the... Uh, stone up and then block the uh, dogs from coming in because I can't lower this fence. Today I'm going to finish the drain. Actually I'm going to finish this whole thing because we're it's going to be in the 70s today, six, high 60s, we're going to start this weekend so maybe in the 30s and 40s it's going to be really cold you know, as far as working on this stuff uh, and being damp and everything. So this is my fence over here so next spring I'm not going to do it now unless it warms up I'm going to cut this fence down to the posts and bring it down see how the bricks are I used two bricks here to uh, um, stop the dogs from uh, trying to get in here so here's the drain part I'm going to put the uh, stone in here as soon as I get finished uh, doing this update and I'm going to so while I was waiting for the stone I dug the grass out here and uh, there's my pop up. I'm gonna put the uh, stone up to the pop up here, and then the water will flow to the uh, drain here. And the drain ends right there, which this uh, cloth is sort of covering it, but you can see it. So then, when I get done with that today, then I'm gonna finish this off, bring all the stone up. I'm gonna get rid of this grass here that's by the fence here, put stone over there. And then I'm going to call my friend up and so he can take the dirt away, but first of all I want to get this all done first because I want to make this one last trip for him and I want him to keep coming here. So this should be the last of the dirt when I pick this dirt up. So uh, this dirt up and I get rid of this grass here. That will be the end of the uh, dirt. Here's a load of uh, stone I got. It has all these little all these little freaking little pieces of rock here and if I take a shovel and go all the way down to the pavement that's all it is I don't have any more rock in here I bought I paid for this I paid for this I paid for this not this I can see having a little bit of it but not half my load I'm paying pay charged by the weight here and half of it is freaking this little bullshit crap that I can't even use. Oh, I got some music up there with the, uh, the geese we have flying over. Um, it rained at the end of the day yesterday. I couldn't finish um, what I needed to do and now it rained all night and now everything's all muddy again. Everything is starting to dry out. So, uh, what I gotta do today is uh, get rid of this rock here uh, that's left over. So, uh, yeah, so this is the rest of the rock, and uh, as you see here, you can't tell, there's all kinds of little pieces of rock, little quarter inch pieces, sharp edges. You see this over here, right there, and then right here. I had to sift every every uh, shovel full of uh, rock yesterday. Well, anyway, not yesterday, but all through the time I had to uh, get this rock over to the uh, yard. Um, now I was supposed to get clean rock, no dirt, none of this crap in there, and here I am. This is like about a whole wheelbarrow. I paid for this. Instead of getting the big, nice round rock, I get this garbage. I called them about it and too bad. Can't do anything about it. They said they warned me about it. And I says, no, you didn't warn me that I was going to get one third of my load of rocks with this crap in it that I can't use. And what happens is if you put this around the, the pipe, 
the tire, the drain tiles, it'll clog up the holes. And also, after a while, it, 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 when it dries up, it, it turns into like a cement. So now all your holes are cemented. And the water is not going to be that flow that fast where it's going to wash that all the way out into the drain. So after a uh, few uh, uh, months or years, the uh, drain's going to get clogged up and we have to clean it out. If we use completely clean rock, we would have to worry about that. So that's what I'm going to have to do today. It's 66 degrees right now. We're going to have a hard freeze tonight. That means below 32 degrees by the time it's all over. So I'm going to get this done and uh, I'll show you now what I've done here. My last clip, you saw that I um, still had to uh, put the stone around the uh, tile and then uh, wrap it with the, uh, with the cloth. Everything is starting to dry out here now, it's all mud again. Okay, so here, here's the, uh, look at that. This is all drying out, now it's all mud again. Alright, so, when you saw this last time, it was all, uh, dirt and, uh, the, uh, tile drain tile wasn't covered yet so that's all we finished all the way up to the end there and uh, there's the pop up for the uh, for the sub pump and the uh, drain butters and what I have to do still is uh, finish this section here which I'll probably get Right about about there with the amount of stone I have left. And then I have to get another load of stone next week and finish this. So all in all, I've uh, shoveled 14,000 pounds of snow, of stone, not snow, that'll come in the winter. 14,000 pounds of stone. So, uh, to uh, get this done quick because uh, the fence is going to be all ice here and then as you see the fence I have to drop down the fence that will happen next week uh, probably Wednesday is supposed to be back somewhere in the 60s so it will be warm enough where I can work on it so yeah that's it so another update so the next thing you uh, see another clip is this will probably be all done. All right, guys, it's day 149 Sunday of the uh, yard project, and um, as you see, it's cloudy again. I'm going to show you the uh, wire mesh I put up yesterday on the uh, neighbor's fence to keep the dogs from biting each other's noses off. But when I um, put a stone up there it'll cover that more because that the mesh will hold the stone up so uh, let me take you up back there again it's 46 uh, degrees out it's supposed to be in the 60s next week we'll soon find out so as you see here still have to do the fence next week Okay, here's the neighbor's fence. So what I did yesterday was uh, put this mesh in there and to keep the dogs from sticking their noses under there. And then when I get the extra rock tomorrow, I'll build it up higher and then I'll stop the rock from going into the neighbor's yard. So, all right, that's the update uh, so far with that. Alright, it's day 150, waiting for the rocks to show up. Hey bud, how you doing? Hi. What are you thinking? Ah, uh, right over here. Alright, uh, I'll make sure your car's there, you know. Yeah, I'll put my car off.
stuck in the house and wait until I can move my car like Today's 154, day 154 of the yard drain project, patio project, fence project. So I finished the drain finally. The uh, rocks are on top. I uh, topped off the rocks around the building and I um, was supposed to do uh, the fence today but it's too windy. It's supposed to have gusts up to 40 miles an hour and as you can see trees it's windy and the uh, wind uh, will cause the uh, panels and you take the panels off to act like sails so they can get uh, hurt um, screwing around with the uh, fence so we're going to wait till Friday Friday's supposed to be a little warmer and uh, less wind and here's the rock I have left what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just sift the big rock out and this is what I had to sift out of here. These rocks were too small for the drain part of it. I was able to do the landscaping. I was able to do the landscaping and these rocks in but as far as the drainage part I couldn't use them because the uh, rocks are too small. They have to be bigger. like that. So that's my uh, work for today. I'm going to uh, sift out all the big rocks. I'm going to put them in a corner because uh, next spring I'm going to do the other fence on the uh, back of the yard and um, then I won't uh, have rock. Um, if I just uh, you know, get rid of this rock here. So I'm going to save it for next year. So uh, this is what I did now with the uh, rock that I had uh, left over. I topped off the rock here. It goes around the house. I'll show you how windy it is and how the fence, how the fence uh, acts like a. Uh, like a sail, I watch the wind. So, no fence, no working with the fence today. So here's the uh, rest of the rock around the house. I topped off. We did this when we first moved in. Looks not nice at all. Here's the drain, it's all done. Here, it's always on to the end. Next week, I'm having a guy come in here. I'm doing no more digging, and that's it. My digging days are over here. Having a guy in, I'm gonna put two rows of sod here. It's, uh, it's still muddy here. It's still mud here. It's gonna take a while for that. It's not gonna grow anymore. And then uh, the dogs are gonna still get muddy. So. Well, it actually goes about four feet out, and that's how wide the side is, two feet rolls uh, wide, five feet long rolls of side. So we're going to two rolls and bring out four feet. So we're going to go from the yard there to here and around here. 
<clears throat> with the side. This is gonna happen next week. And uh also using the side from the foot side here where you they redid the drain again. I'm not gonna sit here and wait for grass to grow here by seeing it. So this is gonna be side here too. So Alright guys, what I'm gonna do now is sift out the rest of the rocks and then uh, as far as the rocks and the drain it's done. Alright guys, I know I have a very long video here but I just want to show you this is July 17th, 18th. Uh, I finished. This is what it looks like today after almost a year. Goes all the way down there. This is where my hand and this is all brand new sod I did this just before winter and it came out really nice now I'm trying to get the rest of the yard I reseeded it so trying to get the rest of the yard to match this so here I wanted to show you this is the pop-up this is the uh, sub pump and the uh, rain water from the roof goes there pops up and then the water goes through the rocks and then filters down into the uh, French drain I don't have the actually connected to that and then I learned later that I could have uh, hooked up another pipe without the holes in it the slits in it and run it to the sewer, sewer too but uh, this is working okay too So oh, here we go. This is where I put the Y in. I got the water coming from down there because we had a lot of standing water from his uh, downspouts. He doesn't have it underground, just one side he has. So the water goes down in here, it goes down here. Then I got the Y in here, it goes here, and then it goes to my neighbor's yard. And we'll all we did a sewer over there. And then there's no fence drain on the other side of the sewer. He just finished it off with the uh, landscape rock. So we got about, I don't know, 40, 12, 16, 25, about 30 feet of French drain here to the drain. So that's it. This is almost a year. Now what I'm going to do is uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So if it does, I'll go down and I'll take a video of the water coming out of the end of the drain into the city sewer. Okay, it's September 6th, 2020. It's the first time I had a chance to actually uh, video the uh, drain after working. It's raining very hard today, and I decided to get the camera out and take this video so I can end uh, my fence drain uh, project video. As you can see, the water is really flowing out of the drain. So, that's the end of my French training project.